Hi guys and welcome to another ESP32 technical tutorial. This one couldn't be simpler. I mean, literally couldn't be simpler. In this one we're going to use a couple of passive components, something called a light dependent resistor and another resistor in order to create what's called a voltage divider. Now the, the picture of my breadboard looks very similar to this. The actual schematic I'm using looks like this. And what we have is a light dependent resistor and a 100k ohm constant resistor and a voltage and a tap in the middle to IO pin 34. Now, since this is a light dependent resistor, the uh, resistance of this component varies as a function of the amount of light on it. So the more light that shines on it, the lower resistance, the lower resistance, the more voltage in this voltage divider circuit, the more voltage in the circuit and in, uh, to the I.O. pin, an analog to digital converter can then read that value. So here is the application program and it literally is as simple as this. I am uh, scanning a uh, GPIO pin in a loop once a second. I'm uh, using an attenuation of 6 dB which gives me a maximum of 3.3 volts as input and every time we go around the loop I'm logging. Now if we look at my console we see here the, vo the signal, the analog signal that is being received in the pin and you see it's fluctuating. Well that's just fluctuating through ambient light. If I wave my hand over the light dependent resistor, which you can't see obviously because I don't have it on video, you see the shadow of my hand causes the voltage to drop and hence it uh, registers differently. As I move my hand away and produce more light on the light dependent resistor to maximum light the signal goes up. So what we have here is a very simple light detection circuit. So as the voltage changes as caused by the light dependent resistor, as the signal voltage on this IO pin increases and decreases, we are able to read that value and log it. Like I say, it couldn't be much simpler than that. Applications of this, ah, you could imagine that uh, you wanted to uh, check light levels, you wanted to be alerted when uh, perhaps a light goes on or off. Uh, you could, for example, because this is a Wi-Fi transmitter, you could actually put this in your refrigerator to figure out whether or not the light actually goes off, solving one of those age-old mysteries. I hope you found something useful in this tutorial, and I look forward to more in the future. Thanks, Nowen. Bye-bye.